Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you taking or considering taking a dietary supplement to increase the production of human growth hormone? In this video, I'll share what is human growth hormone, prescription HGH versus dietary supplements, prescription HGH health benefits, prescription and high HGH side effects, and why food should be your medicine. Human growth hormone, also known as growth hormone, is a protein made by the pituitary gland and secreted into the bloodstream. HGH production is a complex set of hormones produced by the pituitary gland at the base of your brain. Your intestines and pancreas also produce growth hormone. The amount of HGH released by your pituitary gland is not constant and varies throughout the day. Levels tend to rise after exercise, trauma, and sleep. HGH production increases while you sleep and decreases when you are awake. Because the amount of HGH varies throughout the day, a single growth hormone blood test is not reliable. Your doctor will use a physical examination, medical history, and blood test to diagnose low and high HGH levels. Normally, HGH production increases during childhood, peaks during puberty, and declines from middle age onward. Reduced HGH production is a normal part of the aging process. Some dietary supplement makers use reduced HGH production to justify taking a supplement to boost HGH and slow the effects of aging. While reduced HGH production affects both men and women, HGH supplements are usually marketed to women. When HGH levels are too high or do not decline after puberty, a person can attain gigantic proportions. HGH dietary supplement makers use naturally declining HGH levels to justify a lifetime regimen of HGH boosting supplements. They claim these supplements will improve sleep, increase energy, increase muscle mass, reduce wrinkles, and produce firmer, younger-looking skin. HGH supplements, like most anti-aging supplements, target women. While HGH supplement ads imply the results are immediate, it can take nine months or more to experience any health benefits. The supplements are marketed as an affordable alternative to expensive prescription synthetic HGH injections. There is one significant difference. Injected synthetic human growth hormone are given to correct a known HGH deficiency. Instead of synthetic growth hormone, HGH supplements are a proprietary blend of nutrients like amino acids and herbs. Amino acids come from plant and animal protein. Most healthy people eating a balanced diet do not need supplemental amino acids. People eating high-protein food diets get more protein than their body needs. Even vegans obtain all nine essential amino acids from a plant-based diet. With the exception of nine essential amino acids that must come from your diet, your DNA has the code to make non-essential amino acids. One popular HGH supplement provides a blend of essential and non-essential amino acids plus an herb. A four-capsule serving has 2.9 grams of amino acids and herb. The exact amount of each ingredient is proprietary. A healthy 150-pound person needs about 2.7 grams of L-lysine and 0.3 grams of L-cysteine. Both animal and plant foods are high in L-lysine. The same for the essential amino acid L-cysteine. A four-ounce serving of beef, pork, or chicken 
exceeds the daily value for lysine and cysteine for a healthy 150-pound person. What about the herb schizonepida? Asians have used schizonepida to treat colds, fever, sore throat, pain, and skin disorders. But there is no evidence it increases HGH production. Prescription HGH injections are synthetic growth hormone, not amino acids. Some health benefits include increased childhood growth, reduced bone fractures, increased muscle mass, increased energy, and reduced risk of heart disease. Like many prescription drugs, HGH injections have known side effects. They include fluid retention, joint and muscle pain, carpal tunnel syndrome, and increased blood sugar levels. A healthy, balanced diet provides most people with all the essential nutrients they need. Some dietary supplements can correct nutrient deficiencies due to a poor diet or the body's inability to absorb essential nutrients from foods. Can a supplement providing a few extra grams of amino acids increase HGH production? There's no evidence it will if your diet provides enough plant and animal protein. High protein foods include meat, fish, poultry, legumes, dairy, eggs, whole grains, and nuts. What about testimonials praising HGH supplement health benefits? Like most product endorsements, they can be fake, anecdotal and unverifiable, or due to the placebo effect. In the U.S., supplement makers are not required to prove safety or efficacy. Most dietary supplements, including supplements to increase HGH levels, are safe when taken as directed. If a dietary supplement is not intended to treat or cure anything, what good is taking it? Some help fund the lavish lifestyle of supplement makers and promoters. Some takeaways from this video are that reduced HGH production is normal as you age. Most healthy people do not need supplemental amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. Your diet, genes, and lifestyle have more to do with how you feel and look than reduced HGH production. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.